Hey guys, welcome to my video showing every single one-way cipher cage I've found in Valorant. If there's any spots you think I've missed, make sure to put them down in the comments. This first one-way smoke on Ascent is great for slowing enemy pushes into the A site. This second smoke is a variation on the first, but to use it you have to be on top of rafters. It'll catch the enemies off guard though, because they'll be able to see the whole of sight and won't expect you to be able to shoot them from rafters. You can use this next one-way smoke either on attack or defense, it's great for getting easy kills on anyone trying to push from A-Link into A-Site. If the attacking team are aggressively pushing down Catwalk, use this one-way smoke and play from in-garden to be able to get kills on anyone pushing into A-Link. This post-plant one-way smoke gives you a massive advantage over any defenders trying to retake A-Site through A-Rafters. If the defending team keep aggressively pushing into mid at the start of the round, use this one-way smoke to catch them off guard. It's also a great cage to help you with flank watch if your team are pushing into B site or through B main. This defensive smoke from mid will outright stop any attacking pushes through this gateway. You can see all the way to the back wall of courtyard. This very aggressive placement gives you a great one-way sightline into mid-link which you can use early in the round to stop aggressive enemy pushes. This cage placement is very situational, but if enemies are slow to rotate from a site, they'll find it impossible to rotate through this archway. This cage placement gives you a one-way sightline into mid-market if you're on top of the boat in sight. This is an alternative way to place the cage before. This is my favourite cage on Ascent and has got me many kills of enemies trying to push out of B main. This cage is very similar to the previous one, but on the other pillar. You can use both cages at once to block line of sight from B main fully. This one-way cage will let you see the feet of anyone holding close to this wall of B-Site. This cage placement will catch anyone off guard playing behind the shed in sight. Next, let's get on to Bind. This first one gives you a one-way sightline into showers, stopping any attacking pushes into a site. This next cage is very aggressive and you have to throw it after the round has started. Once you've thrown it, move quickly away so you don't get caught out by aggressive attacking pushes. It gives you a massive advantage on anyone trying to push into a short if you're playing in U-Haul. This very situational cage in lamps will let you see the feet of any attackers trying to push through lamps into the back of A site. This one way cage will let you easily kill anyone jumping out of hooker into their B site. This cage placement is sometimes quite difficult, but it gives you a great one-way sightline onto B long if you're playing within B cubby. Next is Haven. This first cage gives you a one-way sightline if you're playing within A window onto A long. 
the attacking player can still see into sight, so they won't expect it to be a one-way smoke. This next cage is great if you're planning on using a defensive strategy where you have to retake A site. It gives you a great one-way angle on anyone playing behind boxes in sight watching the doorway to A link. This post plan cage is the opposite to the previous one. It gives you a great one-way angle onto anyone trying to push into sight from A link or to cross over this doorway to go up to heaven. This placement is very situational, but if your team is planning to rush the A site, you could place this cage early in the round. By playing down the ramp in sewers, you can see easily onto the feet of anyone trying to flank your team. This one-way cage in Garage lets you see out into the courtyard without them being able to see you at all. You can either play it from window if they're trying to push through the door, or from lower down if they're further back in the courtyard. Use this one-way cage either on attack or defence. Not only does this cage block line of sight from garage, it'll also let you catch anyone trying to push out from garage into the sea site. You can play it from multiple angles. This next one-way cage gives you a great sight line down sea long. It works especially well with an operator. Be careful though, because you're a bit stranded in this corner if you use the cage. This is another flank watch cage, but if your team are planning on rushing seaside, you can use it to watch the flank from anyone coming from mid. This post plant spot lets you watch sea link without the enemies being able to see into the seaside at all. It works especially well after the spike is planted because the defenders don't have enough time to let the cage just disappear. This next spot is just a variation of the previous cage I showed. Finally, we're on to split. This first cage will stop any enemies pushing out from A main either into the A site or up the ramp. You have to place it after the round starts, so make sure you're lined up before the buy phase finishes, quickly throw the cage and then retreat back into the A site. This next cage is great for attackers if your team has already taken the A site. Throw the cage on top of this doorway, then you can watch screens without having to worry about the defending team shooting back. This one-way smoke for mid can give you an early advantage over the defenders to take mid control. This may be the best one-way smoke in the game. Using this smoke here and activating it at the right time will make it impossible for the attacking team to push through B main into the B site. This very situational cage for B Heaven makes use of the rope mechanics on split. It works well if the attacking team keep taking mid control and then push into B Heaven. This final spot is for in a post plant situation. Throw the cage between these signs. You can use this as a one way smoke from the back of sight or from under heaven. It makes it impossible for the defending team to push through this doorway into the B site. I've made loads more Cypher tips and tricks videos, so check them out on the end screen or on my channel page. Thanks for watching!